go. Hello everyone and welcome back to another week. As you can see, I am sat in my garden, surrounded by all the beautiful creation, which actually starts us off for this week's topic. So this week, our church has launched Eco Church which uh, means that we are looking at ways that we can protect our planet and how we can be more eco-friendly. So that means our story for today. It is called In the Beginning, which is the beginning of everything. So in the beginning, there was nothing. It was dark and empty and shapeless. Let there be light, God said. As soon as he had the words, light came into existence. God saw the light was good. God divided the light so that there was day and there was night. God made the sky and separated it from the waters below. God brought the waters together into seas and created dry land. Let the land produce plants and trees full of seeds and fruit, God said. Then all varieties of green and leafy vegetation filled the land. From tall redwood trees to trees bearing olives and oranges, acorns and chestnuts. God saw that all he had made was good. Let there be lights in the sky for the night and the day, God said. Let them mark times and seasons, days, months and years. So the golden sun became the light that shone in the day and the silvery moon the light that beamed in the night sky. God also filled the darkness with stars and saw that all he made was good. Let the waters be filled with living creatures and the skies with every kind of winged bird. Let them multiply and increase in number. Then every kind of fish and sea creature swam and splashed in the seas, and the air above became filled with colour and shape and sound. There were dolphins and seahorses, eagles, owls, robins and wrens, buzzing bees and beautiful butterflies. Let there be all sorts of creatures to move on the land, God said. So there were sheep and goats, elephants and giraffes, lions, tigers, and graceful gazelles. God looked at everything that he had made and saw that it was good. Then God made man and woman. He put them in charge of his creation to care for it and cultivate it for food. God loved the people he had made and he saw that everything he had made was very good then God rested. God gave Adam and Eve a beautiful garden to live in. It was full of plants and trees with fruit they could eat. The garden was watered by a river that ran through it and Adam and Eve tended to the garden and worked in it. Wasn't that such a beautiful story? Now for me, I'm sitting in the garden and as I close my eyes, I can, I can, I can hear all the beautiful birds. I can hear the wind and feel the wind on my skin. It's just so beautiful how you can go out into your gardens or your local park and you can see all of God's wonderful creation and just see how good it is. Now, I wonder what could you do at home that could help save the planet or help just preserve the planet and the, thing, and the, and the world that we live in? I know for me that I make sure that I try and switch off all the lights in the house, obviously when we need to. And I also make sure that when I'm brushing my teeth that I don't leave the tap running. I wonder if you could give me any more suggestions in the comments. Now, a, a task for you to do at home. Why don't you try and make your own poster or banner made out of recycl recyclables that, act, that you can find in your home? I've made one myself for the church and I will be putting it in the comments for you to see. Now, a prayer to say together. Dear God, thank you for the story of creation and thank you for creating such beautiful things and know how good it is. Help us to preserve and help the planet to make it last longer 
and be so much more beautiful. Amen. Now, I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you next week.